So you're thinking of having a tummy tuck and your plastic surgeon recommends liposuction too. Here's why. Just to make sure we're all on the same page, liposuction is a surgical procedure to treat areas of excess fat using small incisions and a hollow metal tube passed back and forth through these areas. This metal tube is then placed to a suction device and then we remove a good amount of fat from these problem areas, giving you a better contour. But why do we so often combine it with a tummy tuck? The biggest reason is that when we remove the excess skin and fat from the lower abdomen, we still have a good amount of fat that is still covering your waist and flanks. In the end, this leads to the appearance of a flatter abdomen, but we haven't done anything to address the sides of your body. So while the front part of you looks skinnier, the sides remain full and you maintain a wider look. So let's get into the four areas we use liposuction to really enhance your tummy tuck. The main area a lot of us plastic surgeons address is the waist. The reason that we do this is once we start reducing the size of your waist, we can start giving you more of an hourglass figure that many in Western societies find attractive. There's a known ratio between the waist and the hips that is found to be the most attractive in studies. For women, these studies have found that the most attractive waist to hip ratio is less than 0.8. Women with a ratio less than 0.8 have been found in many studies to indicate to others that they have good health, good cognitive ability, and even good fertility. For men, those same studies have found that the most attractive ideal waist to hip ratio is less than 0.9. But the more important factor for attractiveness in men is how wide the chest is compared to the waist. To put it simply, Western culture finds a smaller waist compared to the hips attractive in women, whereas a broader chest and shoulders are what is found to be more attractive in men. The second area we address are the love handles. If you lived through the early 2000s, you know exactly why we address this area. Leave me a comment below if you want to see low-rise jeans and make a comeback. But that aside, we address the love handles not only to prevent muffin top, but also to help us achieve a better transition to the hips so that your curves have more of an S curve to them, which overall is more attractive. The third area we can address is the lower back region. Now, a lot of you may not know this, but by just treating the lower back region with liposuction alone, we can really define the top of the booty, sometimes to the point that your friends might ask if you had a Brazilian butt lift. The reason is that gentle S curve that we create coming down the back and transitioning to the upper buttock really helps the booty to pop. So your friends might ask, just be prepared. The bra line, the final area that I like to treat with liposuction is the bra line. This is an area for many women and sometimes men that often bothers them the most. It's really the tail of the breast that's trailing off into the back region. By treating this area with liposuction, we really help to accentuate that V shape in men and also helps to decrease the width of the chest in women. And once all those areas are treated, we get you into a compression garment, otherwise known as a faja. This helps keep all your tissues compressed in all the right areas to help you keep your goals on track. Is a compression garment totally necessary? No, but it does help speed up how soon you will see your results. Which then brings us to how long does it take to see my results after liposuction? You'll soon start to see your results shine through in a few weeks, but your full results won't be evident until about six months after surgery. It's just that it takes about six months for all the residual swelling to really dissipate out. But wait a minute, what happens to all the fat that we sucked out of you? Now, that's a great question, and you can find out all about that in this video right here. I'm Dr. Paul Pierce, and I hope you learned something today. I'll see you in the next video.